Welcome to the video from the digitallifestyle.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 17046 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring in the Skip Ahead with the Skip Ahead option. So what's new in this build? Well, there's just a few things. Microsoft Edge has now got the ability to um, autofill fields in there, things like delivery addresses. So here in the form entry section, the advanced settings, you can fill in your um, address details and then it can also fill them in sites like Amazon, uh, which I think is a good idea. This is still um, with your Microsoft account and therefore um, available on multiple devices. So you can set this up once here uh, on this PC and then go to any PC, which I think is a, a really good idea. Another change in Microsoft Edge is uh, you can adjust the spacing in reading mode. Um, so it makes it a bit clearer to see. Okay, so one of the shell improvements is over here in the start menu. You can right click on an app and in the more option, you've got the settings now. Before, the only way to do that was, was to go drill right the way through, go settings, uh, apps, find the app, find the settings and so on. So you have to drill down through the uh, settings menu. Now you've got this much easier way of uh, finding the app and just going uh, straight into into whatever you need to do so that's nice to see there's a couple other changes the emoji data for the keyboard um, they've added support for language that didn't previously support emoji databases or emoji symbols um, I'm not a big emoji user so I'm not going to spend too much time on that but basically you've got the on-screen keyboard and if I bring that up There's all the emojis. So they've improved that for some uh, extra languages, uh, language support, and uh, the prediction as well. Go on to the, uh, the blog on the digitallifestyle.com or on to the Windows blog, uh, blogs.windows.com for the details on that. There's some additional languages in uh, the keyboard that's been added. Um, again, check the blog for that one. Right, other changes are... Um, They've added settings where you can view and manage your activity history with Cortana. So it's in settings, privacy, uh, activity history. They've fixed issues with the property dialogues on um, in File Explorer that was causing problems. They fixed some issues with third-party antiviruses in OneDrive, OneDrive on demand. They fixed an issue with some UWP apps that was uh, suspended when you restart your machine. They fixed some TV and monitor issues with uh, color. Um, t 10 or 12 bit color formats um, there's a, there's quite a few fixes actually fi fixes with this build something things like windows and tv or movie vision tv or the sky pack which the minimum mini window view wouldn't uh, be correct they fixed that as well so that's it really not a huge amount of changes with this build um I find it pretty stable it works it's working very well it's there's no major issues with it and uh, i've been pleased with this redstone 4 development so far so hopefully we'll see some new features soon thanks for watching this video